In this video, we will cover the process of programming an iX Series 2 system with the 2018 version of the iX Support Tool using the iX Support Tool Wizard. The wizard is designed to get your iX system up and running as fast as possible by assigning default numbers, names, and network addresses. Open the iX Support Tool. The first thing you'll see is a screen asking for us to log in. The default ID and password is admin, all lowercase. Type in ADMIN for both the ID and password, then click Login. From the menu bar in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, select Create New System. The New System window will appear. Enter a system name. This is how you will distinguish one job from another. Under IP version, select either IP version 4 or IP version 6. In this example, we'll select IP version 4. Under Installer Information, enter the contact information of who is installing the system. The owner information would be the end user's name and contact information. The Notes section can be used to write down any information pertinent to the installation. On the right side of the screen is a list of all the possible iX stations currently available. In this example, we'll have two of the iX MV7s. This will include version with and without the handset. We'll have one iXDV two of the iXSS2Gs, and one iXRS. When done, click Next. The next screen that comes up is the System Configuration screen. The stations we entered will be listed. By default, they will come with a station number, a name, and an IP address. The Support tool will also search for stations on the network. If it has found all your stations but is still searching, you can click Cancel at any time to stop the search. Below the Station Settings list, you will find Advanced Settings and System Management. System Management includes Add New Station and Station Removal. Advanced Settings include Address Book that allows you to partition the masters, Door Release which allows you to change door release assignments, Batch IP Address Configuration which allows you to change the IP address of multiple stations at once, and Station Details. In this example, we'll click on Station Details. The Station Details screen will appear. From this screen, we can change the Station Number, Station Name, Location, and Network Settings. We'll be changing the numbers and the names. For Master 1, we'll make it number 101, and we'll change the name to Office Master. For Master 2, we'll make it number 102, and we'll change the name to Security Master. For Video Door Station 1, we will make it number 201, and we will change the name to Front Door. For Audio Door Station 1, we will make it number 202, and we will change the name to Lab. For Audio Door Station 2, we will make it number 203, and we will change the name to Clean Room. For the Handset Substation 1, we will make it number 301, and we will change the name to Warehouse. When done making your changes, click OK. All the changes made should be reflected in the Station Settings list. Select a station from the Station Settings list with the coordinating station in the Station list. Ensure it is the correct station by verifying the MAC address. The MAC address can be found on the back of all iX stations. Click Apply and repeat the process for the remaining stations. If you click Associate automatically, the Support tool will associate all the stations at once. This may or may not give you the desired results. We recommend associating one station at a time. If you've associated the wrong station, you can scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click Remove Association. This will break the association. When done and all stations are correctly associated, click Next. Proceed to the next step only after all stations have completely rebooted. The Setting File Upload screen will appear allowing you to upload settings to the stations that have been associated. You can either select all stations or stations by type from the drop-down menu. In this example, we'll select all. Click Select. All available stations will be selected. Before you click Upload, verify that your PC's IP address indicated here is in the same range as the station's new IP address. If it is not, Please change it so that it's in the same range. Click Start Upload. The Status column will indicate the status of each station. When all stations have been updated, a pop-up message will appear. Click OK. 
In the status column, each station should say success. If it does not display success, try uploading to it individually. Proceed to the next step only after all stations have completely rebooted. Click Manual Date Time Setup button. The Manual Date Time Setup window will appear. Click Sync with PC, then click Apply. Click Back. Click Next. Click Export to save the file in an accessible location. From the pop-up, choose a location and click OK. This file can be shared with the end user and kept in a job file. Click Finish. <laughs>